Why is what Modern Warfare 3 so bad? What can you tell us about uh, Modern Warfare 3? Yeah, what can you tell us? First of all, Jeff, Modern Warfare 3 this year is the complete package. No. Fire. Yeah, it's cap. Uh, that's so... That's just so not true. That's just not true. They took out round base. That has to be. That has to be false. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is an abomination. It Playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to describe it. I mean, it's literally just the way I think of it. It's the epitome of modernized gaming in Call of Duty. Oh, God, it's terrible. It isn't right. That is, that is, it's a Frankenstein yeah. monster stitched together from bits and pieces of previous games, repackaged yep. and sold to us at full price. Yeah. You're a demon spawn now. You're an abomination. And unfortunately, this is what I think Call of Duty is going to be for the next 10 years. I think they're going to continue this trend from Modern Warfare 3. has the least new out of any game in the franchise. Yeah, it's which true. Is exactly how I felt when the original came out in 2011. Yep. This is a world where nothing is solved. <laughs> Bro, oh my gosh, a review from 2011 about the OG MW3 to now. Oh my gosh, we are in the COD cycle. This time, it's, it's much so worse. true. All the content at launch was recycled, well, except yeah. for the cutthroat mode. What the frick even is this? Oh, it's a draw? Okay, great. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, what you... you guys lost zero, two, and three. <laughs> it's, it's a draw. A draw. <laughs> what the You're frick? Hoping, dude. <laughs> Articles and internal leaks have been... Yeah, I've barely played any of the new modes, This was clearly honest. planned to be an expansion to MW2. While late in development, Activision forced Sledgehammer deeper into the mines to turn it into a sequel. Hey, remember when Activision confirmed they would stop releasing COD annually? It was cap, bro. I remember that and everybody forgot about it, bro. It's so true. They capped on us, bro. For real. That's what made you, you did. I lied. That is just so bad. Also here, chat, let me turn up the volume a little bit. Habits die hard. Apparently, Bobby Shitdick just couldn't help himself, and he needed to spread his cheeks and dump ass on the Call of Duty brand one last time For before real. they merge with Microsoft. Real. I really shouldn't have. And who knows if Microsoft will actually change? To things. keep saying this, you can enjoy this game. Hell, I enjoy it at times, but please don't defend it because you deserve better. But am I just being hyperbolic? Is Modern Warfare 3 really so bad, or is there some nugget of greatness hiding beneath the shit? Well. Let's release a $70 expansion, hunt down Makarov, and sl- The campaign is so bad. Man, Makarov was such a joke this Slide year. I'd cancel our way straight into this. But before yeah. we start our search for more missiles, we need to find a rock. Chat, is there anything redeemable about Modern Warfare 3? Is there anything you guys actually enjoy? Like, I like the zombies. I don't really like the MP, and the campaign was terrible. I don't know. It. I think there's no, very that one. little things this to one. actually enjoy. Rocket Money, the sponsor of today's video. Hey, you know what sponsor? I'm gonna skip it a little bit, W. A direct sequel. <laughs> Attention. We are now at DEFCON 1. <laughs> Some of you might not understand <laughs> why this is a major Wonder. red flag, so let no. me explain. There's a good reason Call of Duty shifted away from direct sequels starting in 2007. Because the creators realized that releasing a World War II game every year was getting old. Yeah. It's why Infinite Warfare got so much shit and when it was- And it's still old. It is still old. Do not release any COD from World War II. We are done. I do not want another Vanguard. Revealed. Because it was the third futuristic COD game in a row. And why fans initially praised well, BL3 was golden, man. COD World War II for going back to a boots on the ground boots. setting. I've always felt this series was at its most creative during the Black Ops Modern Warfare sagas. I because agree. every year we alternated between two timelines. We would go from World War II to and modern day, good, the Vietnam man. and Cold War, before jumping into the future. Changing the setting always ensured that despite releasing annually, the next COD would feel fresh. We'd explore different parts of the world at different True. points in time with True. new factions, characters, and we'd shoot people with new guns and gadgets. It was a brilliant strategy to combat franchise fatigue and it worked for a very long time. When it comes to Modern Warfare 3, however, I'm fucking exhausted. Having the same setting- I agree, chat. I agree. Are we just done with the COD formula at this point? Like, I just think, though, because it's always in the top three selling games, I don't think they will stop put putting them out yearly until...
two games the in a row does down, nothing but make the know, campaign and multiplayer they, they feel are more rehashed so much money than it should. The biggest complaint I have is the campaign. It's the worst in the franchise. Amen. How on earth could That's this be I'm worse saying. than Thank Ghost? Goodness, you, New dog model is Black Ops 3. Train go boom. True. And Vanguard. I, I mean, yeah, Ghost's campaign was terrible. Vanguard was terrible. BL3s was awful. Nazis. It's so they true. Die. Well, remember when Master Chief took off his helmet in the first episode of the Halo TV show? I never thought I'd have to suffer more than I did that day. The game opens yeah. with some military guys. I mean, the opening for MW3 is not bad. This mission's all what right. It looks like the gulag from MW2. Yeah, Apparently, we're here to rescue same. Prisoner 627. And for a moment, things are looking all right. It feels like a regular mission. Yeah, the mission's and you not don't bad. yet realize your plan is the bad guys. Hmm. Who? Who is it? Oh, it's just some guy. What? What? What the heck, bro? I thought it was just some random guy. He doesn't look like Macroft. I know, bro. He looks like the friendly version of Macroft. Like, look at just in the facial features how much more menacing this one looks it, uh, than the newer one by comparison. Of it all. It's so Russian true. Ben Shapiro as Macroft. He does kind of look like him. It's a little weird. Let's say hypothetically that I just killed him. Now, uh, I'm not saying I did, but if I did, I would have had to put a gun. Why is that true? He looks more like Ben Shapiro. Against his head and pull the trigger and now he'd be dead. Let's assume that life had just <laughs> Begun, but now everything has been thrown away. Makarov and his cronies the mount their escape. Break. They stop in an elevator where one of them suggests waiting until the guards are distracted. Makarov says, to delay adds risk, and then asks us, Who holds power in this gulag? The guards or the prisoners? The Activision employees. Trick question. The electricians do. Get it! <laughs> this is the only time you get to choose dialogue, and it doesn't even matter what you pick. It changes nothing, and Makarov agrees with oh, whatever I you know. say. Chat, can they just stop adding dialogue that's pointless? I hate when I see dialogue, and I'm like, bruh, this is just not going to affect anything in the story. They just want to bring it back from BO2 as like a gimmick, but not actually have different stuff in the campaign. I mean, I just hate it. The prison. It's so, it's so garbage. Yes, yeah, Andre. That's why the gods need guns. To shoot them. Had me thinking this might have branching paths like Cold War and Black I Ops 2. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Nice prank, Sledgehammer. Bring so Makarov escapes. We cut the price bro. in the rest of Task Force 141. Makarov is out. Say it again, Laszlo. Makarov is out. He's on the move, John. This causes Price to panic, and he aborts the mission. Abort! Turn us around! Turn us around now! Wait, what mission? Uh, why are you guys here? <laughs> I oh. know, bro. Like, the, the cutscenes are so scrapped together. Oh, you no, just no. don't even know. I just needed something cool to say. Okay. Pretty uh, much. Here's you a don't lesson even know in what's avoiding going on basic time, screenwriting fuck-ups. You need to let the audience know what's at stake if we're going to care. Exactly. The purpose of this scene is to show Makarov as a man that scares Price. Whatever he's up to, stopping him is a top priority. But since we don't know what mission they're abandoning, we don't know what's at stake or what's being sacrificed. Maybe they're just canceling dinner reservations at the Cheesecake Factory. Probably. Makarov is out. He's on the move, John. They're canceling round base zombies, Looks bro. Looks like this hit's gonna have to wait. And the scene fails to do the one thing it's meant to, create drama and fear around our antagonist. Anyways, we abruptly cut to Farah and Alex, who are on their own mission and... Wait. You! You're supposed to be dead! <laughs> every COD campaign ever. explosion that was yeah, literally every COD campaign ever. You think they're dead and they miraculously breathe Manually life. detonated? What the fuck is happening? Oh! Oh, Philip Graves is back too! <laughs> I know! The, the bad guy of the last game is- he's just back? He's Wait, just what? Get this. I know! In a war it zone makes no sense. From season 3 of COD 2019, Alex is revealed to have survived. Alex. Thought you were dead. Still standing. Somehow Palpatine. E everybody just magically returns, bro. <laughs> and in the season they can't five cutscene of MW2, so the same thing happens with Graves. Yeah. Heard you died in a tank in South America. Well, I wasn't in that tank. Somehow Palpatine returns. <laughs> what the fuck is this sloppy, <laughs> shitty writing? How do you kill off two characters and then write them both back into the series I in know. the exact same way? Oh hey, I my thought you gosh. died. Nope. Well, I wasn't in that day. I wasn't there, bro. I'm just joking.
Go yeah. fuck yourself. This trilogy has been grounding itself in realism, and now it's turned into a fucking sitcom where everything goes back to normal at the end. That's just what Warzone is, though. That's like what Operators is. That's what Call of Duty is. And death has no meaning. And I further decree yeah. that everything will be just like it was before all this happened. It's so and true. No one will ever mention it again. But don't worry, folks. When Task Force 141 recovers all seven Dragon Balls, they can wish Captain Krillin back to this dimension. <laughs> also, this doesn't explain why Farah and Alex are working with Graves. He shows up yeah. and then Farah and Alex are just like, oh, what's up, Graves? They what? put so much emphasis on her in the campaign. Work I feel together? like for I don't know how you managed to walk no past our reason. security guards, but uh, please take a look at our highly confidential battle plans. And we can just forget about that time that you betrayed our friends, tried to kill them, and then you I murdered know. 300 civilians. All in MW2, yeah. That was actually not a bad mission given. either. I'm sure you just became a mass murderer for our sake. Pretty so much. at this point, the story is foobar. But... Maybe it might still be fun to play. No. <laughs> no. I mean, only if you like Warzone. God, I'm so funny. The gulag at the start was made from the Verdansk prison, yeah. which was made from the original gulag level in MW2. MW2. Arklov military base, the stadium, Gora no, Dam. All these areas are blatantly and recycled from Warzone. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is a fucking part of the campaign right here. And they don't tie into absolutely the, Yeah, this anything. is the fucking... Oh, yeah, so that's bad. the one where you're like... Where you're playing Price and he's getting gassed. Even the worst Call of Duty campaigns always felt original, even yeah, if that originality true. was horrifying. He's yeah. messing with my mind. What about what's going on in that pinhead of yours? Like they used to make <laughs> maps and copy areas from the campaign into multiplayer stuff. I see, and they actually did a good job. Like people are always like, oh, they use World at War assets, World at War assets, this, this, that. Nah, man. Like in World at War, they actually changed the map from Noct. To actually being zombified. Like, they did a great job. Got There's some zombies. Not there. the other way around. Yeah. So, guess what happens? That's such a great It's a point. domino effect. Now the campaign designers are fucked because they have to write a compelling story and try to create dynamic missions in areas that were designed for a battle royale, exactly. not single player. Yep. What's the result? We call them open combat missions. <laughs> it's the biggest piece of bullshit. <laughs> I'll admit, it's That's an so idea that. True. It's just not good. Could have worked. COD rarely dabbles in non- Yeah, like COD used to be like the ballsiest company. That's what put them at number one. And then as soon as like, I don't know, just stuff started happening, they just stopped with that. Their levels. You know? And when they do, it's usually the highlight of the campaign. But these are clearly a result of rush development. Yeah. They're meant to pad out the runtime in it's a so campaign true. that somehow manages to still be the shortest in franchise history. Yeah. Six of the 14 missions are open combat. That's why they went by so fast. Like half the time, these stupid open combat missions, you can cheese and get them done in like two seconds. It's literally like doing a freaking DMZ objective in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Even when 40% so of the campaign is filler, they can yeah. barely make this crap more than four hours long. Yeah. The objectives are it's always insane. super exciting. Insane. Things like hack three cell phones, defuse. Like I remember doing the no Russian mission on camp on the stream with you guys, and like I didn't even know I was doing the ro no Russian mission until you guys told me. Three bombs. Like that's horrible. Push three bro. buttons. Stick three fingers in your ass. And the storytelling in these missions is on par with Spec Ops. It's just people talking over a radio. It's, yeah, it's Anyways, a friend of Farah is introduced, and then... Oh! <laughs> what? I know, oh, she dies so fast! Uh-oh. She lived for like 45 seconds. I love you so seconds. much, Mom. I hope you never get shot. <laughs> We're supposed to put GPS trackers on some missiles. So we do. And I know. We just let like, the... but like that's but that's the mission. That's it. That's the whole mission, dog. Terrorists take them. Have fun killing innocent civilians and blaming it on me. Why are we putting trackers on missiles instead of stopping the terrorists from taking them? Shouldn't there be I, a sequence I, I where Alex know. and Farah are under heavy fire? Like, apparently, Modern Warfare 3 was said to have been a game made by AI. And honestly, like, looking at the campaign, I honestly think it's correct. Like, one in chat, if you agree that this this game was made by AI, I think it was. And they have like, to retreat, down to the so core, they right? settle for tracking the missiles instead of stopping the terrorists. Like, and our heroes barely escape with their lives. Bad. I suppose they could have shown Alex and Farah retreating in a cutscene. But we don't even get that. So our heroes end up looking like apathetic. Alex is so forgettable. I completely forgot he was in, even in the campaign. Like, I fully forgot about That him. just give up. 
They don't even chase the trucks or leave yeah. the area because in the next scene, they're mourning the death of that lady who had 30 seconds of screen time. Shouldn't this place be swarming with terrorists? That's true. Call of Duty has always told its stories. Through yeah, amazing... like just the, the, the difference between that mission and this BO1 mission where you feel like you're actually infiltrating a site with the Ascension rocket test. like Set pieces, gameplay, and yeah. heavily scripted sequences. So much better, man. When you take that out of the equation, it completely falls apart. Yeah. So Makarov assembles his team of crows. Conies. I mean, conies. But back at the gulag, <laughs> poor Ivan suggested they wait in the elevator. How dare you take five seconds to consider whether it's a good idea to rush into open gunfire? Not on my watch. <laughs> I remember. We didn't just, see that coming. I think this scene is meant to be an elevator. allegory for the working conditions at Sledgehammer. Well, like, really. Really, dude? This is the best you can come up with? AI has gotten so good. This is definitely made by humans. Dang. Now AI is above the level of humans. Make Makarov look like bad. a bad guy? That's it's the bad. most cliche thing possible. The first time we see him in MW2, he shoots up a fucking airport. Talk about making an entrance. Yeah, Since we know much. Modern Warfare 3 is recycling most of its ideas. Where do you think the plot is headed? The missiles. They're going for the missiles. <laughs> Classic. In, into absolutely freaking nothing. It's always about the missiles, man. Where the fucking missiles? Yeah. Oh, smell missiles! We're not recycling the plot from the last game, are we? No, no, it's not about finding the missiles again. I already did that. They wouldn't shut up about it. Missiles. Tony's got their own missiles. No missiles inside. Oh, those missiles. Two, two missiles. one missile gone. We're copying Iron Man, people, <laughs> all right? Shepard is going to be the one selling... Bruh, it's always missiles. U.S. weapons. And that's what COD Zombies is turning into, too. Under the where table. Are the missiles? Where are the missiles, Coco? Where are the missiles? Oh, she doesn't, she doesn't know where the missiles are. Oh, what do you get doing? Where did he get that? The sound of the missile are in Chicago. <laughs> straight up copying the plot from last year. Shepard sends ballistic missiles to the Middle East. They get stolen. Bad guy puts the flag of another nation on the missiles to frame them. My missiles. Literally. My flags, my country. Same shit. Different game. The more things yeah. change, the more. And that's the thing. I really can't tell you the differentiation between Modern Warfare 2019 and 2 and 3's campaign. Whereas the original trilogy, every campaign felt so iconic. Like, I remember one particular thing from each of the campaigns. Like, they were really good story narratives, man. They stay the same. In the third level, we need to destroy three helicopters. Then the Coney group releases deadly gas and, uh-oh, Price breathes it in? Cap! Stay with us, sir! Ah! <laughs> Shit, now I'm kind of nah, worried. Nah, he's really chilling. hope nothing bad happens to- Yep, nah, he's totally he's, fine. He's totally Psych! This is Psych! another classic script writing fuck up. Chekhov's gun. Yeah. If Price inhaling the gas doesn't change or add anything to the story, why then why does he it? breathe it in? Yeah. But normally it's after so a true. scene like this, the perspective would change to another character and leave you wondering if Captain Price is going to be okay. I remember this strategy working really well in Halo 2. It's such a lazy attempt at creating tension, but ironically, it does the opposite. The characters are acting like Makarov obtaining the sarin gas is a big deal. The fuck is in that gas? Remnants of Barkov's program. But then he just lived through it. That's what I mean. Like, there's literally, like, the story contradicts itself at this point. It's that bad. Sorry. Highly concentrated. Far more lethal. <laughs> <laughs> you beat the gas, but he still needs some time to recover. Price wakes up 10 seconds <laughs> later totally and is immediately blind. back on the field in perfect health. It's such a narratively <laughs> confusing part. You know, in a story, if you want to do the, oh God, is this character going to die thing, you tend to stretch that out a little bit, you stretch the question. The way it's cut feels like there was supposed to be an entire mission between these two oh, moments. That's so he blacks true. out. You go do some other campaign mission somewhere else, and then he comes to the next cutscene. Because that is so true. You have to stretch that emotional uncertainty. Well, you have to make so make it so people care. But he's it's literal plot armor. Immediately. Hey yeah. Makarov. It's you literal want real plot lethal armor. gas? Go eat Taco Bell. You gotta love how these pre-mission briefings now wrong. look like everyone's chilling in a Discord. I campaign. know, bro. I was saying that when I was playing the game, bro. Literally Discord campaign missions, bro. Sending JPEGs to each other. <laughs> Dude, if this was my Discord server, you guys would all be banned for spamming the same fucking image of Makarov a hundred times. Go join the Discord server. Link in the... Bro, God bless you on that Discord act, man. I know the trouble of having a Discord. God rest your soul. Description. They have used the same image of shirtless Makarov 
like yeah. 40 times. They keep using it every time he's mentioned in the briefings. It's like a running joke. I need to know how many times it's utilized. When Makarov... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No, man. it's gonna be like 10 plus. Or someone. This is our show to Makarov. Makarov. <laughs> is Makarov alive? Makarov. Price and Farah meet up Literally 10. That's to find so those bad. gosh darn missiles. But then the dumbest thing ever happens. Farah tells Price her missiles were stolen by Makarov and that those missiles were given to her by Shadow Company, who she's working with. Who sent you the missiles? Shadow Company. What? 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 Price is surprised by this, as am I, because apparently nobody told Farah what happened with Graves and Shepard? It didn't come up once in these Discord Dang, calls or during dinner at the it. Cheesecake Factory. Nope. Shadow yeah. Company don't have that kind of firepower. They're errand boys with tech vests. They're allies. They're allies. They're allies. What the fuck does <laughs> that mean? <laughs> then although Price explicitly tells her that Graves, Shepard, and Shadow... It just, like, this is what I mean. It's not even cohesive with what the pre-existing material they've already set up. Like, that's embarrassing. ...company tried to murder him and his men. Far doesn't even tell Price that Graves is still alive. They carried out a hit on my men. Commander Graves did this. Yeah, well, he had his orders, yeah. From home? General Shepard. I also just like they overplay the General Shepard being a bad character every time in these new campaigns. Did I think it's sent you so those missiles? annoying. My weapons are my business. What? 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 <laughs> She doesn't give a shit. That's what I mean. It's literally written by AI. Thank you, Kizza, for the tier one. Friendship over. It's just very dangerous sense. men, Farah. We are all dangerous, Captain. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Hey, can you stop talking like a Marvel character for two seconds and tell True, me if you're real? True, bro. Marvel did this. TikTok did this. Who do we blame, y'all? Working with the people who tried to kill me. I never want to lie to you, but I can't tell you everything. What you call classified, I call secrets. Can you shut the fuck up? All right, here's the deal, Farah. <laughs> You're dropping the shittiest one line. Yo, SpongeBob, chill, bro. And it's pissing me off. You chill, say, bro. well, then let's help each other. Yet you refuse to answer my questions and share information that would help us both achieve our goals. I have every reason to believe you are now working with my would-be assassins and protecting them by not telling me. The writers probably didn't realize this would make you a villain in the story, but luckily for you, Farah, they made me, Captain Price, a fucking idiot. It's also crazy because Farah literally gets forgotten by the end of the story. Like, she's such a major proponent throughout the middle and the beginning, and then she's completely forgotten. So I can't piece any of this together. Like always, I hope you trust me. Implicitly. Good. Yo, is this person fucking retarded? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not the 2016 Leafy, bro. See you on the other side. Shoot in, Farah! Let's go get those missiles! Four missions in, and we have three deadly screenwriting sins. Yeah. This time, idiot plot. Farah has no reason to withhold this information. She only does it because the writers didn't know how to force drama into this scene where there would- Well, they also had to just make more filler. Otherwise That's be the none. Other thing. Maybe Farah could have led Price to Graves, who could then lead them to Shepard, a guy whose missiles keep coincidentally falling into the hands of terrorists. And although Price and Farah are supposed to be together in this mission, she disappears at the start. The one thing you'll notice is that all the open world missions have you playing alone because the devs were unable to program friendly ai in these maps yeah see that bro no way is that the truth i think that's true something i noticed you're like there with three or four guys it looks like you all airdrop down there and then it's just you feels kind of lame i think that's true the only campaign mission i remember you actually escorting with someone is the very first one they literally stopped adding that midway through that's insane bro as last that's one we so infiltrated lazy. base to meet an informant this level oh, this is mission just is walking. Terrible. It sucks. It's terrible. This mission is actually what? horrible. What? I know. I got. A sprinting I... will attract unwanted. <laughs> I got the same thing. This mission is literally one of the worst in COD history. Tension. <laughs> yeah, it's what? bad. Look at that guy. He's running. Out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> they will shoot you for any reason in this. Oh my fucking god. This is so Bro. dumb. 
They they. Like, I know, and then the mission ends when you just talk to the freaking woman. It's so bad, like Lazlo man. Me, they see I'm a woman, and they're like, "Gun her down!" Oh, thank <laughs> I know, it's Yuri. Bro, what Please fuck? save this campaign. Give us some info that makes the plot interesting. Uh, oh, a thumb drive. Well, okay. What's on it? Makarov's nudes? Did you get access to his OnlyFans? That's gross. So Laswell risked her- uh, That would have unironically been more of an entertaining plotline than what MW3 was, bro. Live coming to this base to get intel. It must be pretty important. Except no, because we never find out what the intel is, and it's never brought up again. So this entire level is filler. You could- I forgot, yeah. And then the whole freaking place just blows up for no reason, right? This out, and it would change nothing. The only reason this level exists is to pointlessly shoehorn Yuri into the game in a desperate attempt at fan service. It ends up being a disgrace to the character. But if there's yeah, one level you can't screw up, it's no Russian. Nah. Uh, nah they, I they hope I don't so die nice. tragically on this flight. <laughs> So, Makarov <laughs> escaped from the gulag, and he killed, like, 200 guards in the process. Oh, Coincidentally, so there have been three terrorist attacks within 72 hours of his escape. And although logically this should make him the most wanted man on the planet with his face plastered everywhere, he's able to casually walk through airport security without any problems. That's Even so true. Why do they not explain that? You would think that, like... If this game actually made sense, he wouldn't have never even been on the plane, bro. He manages to sneak in, like, six guns, body armor, and a, a bomb. You know, maybe if Task Force 141 would share that picture of Makarov, they could <laughs> spam him in Discord. The I Russian know. authorities would have caught him at the airport and ended this story as well as Literally. my suffering. Makarov is supposed to be a criminal mastermind who obsessively plans his attacks, accounting for every possible situation or complication. But this motherfucker didn't even wear a fake mustache. Basic logic is abs- Yeah, it's true. It is- it is probably another just terrible mission. ...from every Plain scene, go, and it boom. is driving me insane. Like this one, where Makarov and his men attempt to hijack the plane. But instead of a coordinated hijacking where everyone springs into action all at once, like that one time, this idiot sitting next to us puts a gun in our face, stands up. Doesn't even look like a real gun either, especially for a game about guns. And then starts looking. They make this gun look like a freaking toy gun. Around for no reason. Kind of looks like broke me. Broke out that all-white camel. Oh, fuck. <laughs> No, Muda, no! <laughs> he did not just say that. <laughs> or both <laughs> cosplaying Bin Laden. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the worst thing I've ever heard. Wait a minute, he does look like Mudahar. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Why, yes, Mudahar, I would love to shoot Makarov's men. Thank you for allowing- No, not Muda, bro. ...me to take your gun. At this point, we're That's playing hilarious. as Samara, a former ULF freedom fighter. And because she's supposed to be vaguely Middle Eastern, the funniest thing ever happens. Are you a terrorist? No! Uh, you look like me. <laughs> I just like, yeah, like Call of Duty, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Woo! Oh, give the... Yeah, this is hands down the worst campaign. Like... Riders, we can, agree. we can agree on that, right? So the plane explodes and everyone dies. Far and Alex go to the crash site to get footage to prove that Far's group, the ULF, did not commit the attack. We need to find out what happened on that flight. Show the world it wasn't us. Like, this should have been such a big moment and they really just fumbled it, man. I won't have them call Like, us. a crashing plane, you can do so much good narrative with that. Terrorists. Again. So we hack three they phones so and bad. destroy the evidence. And yeah, that was the whole mission. I forgot. You literally go around the plane site, hack some phones. You're like, peace. See ya. See all the casualties later. Some people. Like, what the frick? It's so bad. We believe the ULF was responsible. Thanks to you, no one can prove it. I mean, it's pretty obvious who did it, but glad I could help. 141 meets up with Laswell and they start going over footage from the airport. No one stopped him. Walk in the buddy park. Yes. Yes, I know. Right? Which is better, BO3 or MW3 chat? Put it down below. I'm saying BO3. BO3 actually had, like, memorable moments. Like, the, the, the scene with the guy's arm coming off. Like, bro, that freaked me out when I first saw it. Like, BO3 has some memorable moments.
MW3 does not. Right? The plot makes no sense. Foreign Alex, what they get? Not enough to prove anything. What? Bro, what are you talking <laughs> like, about? Like, that's what I mean. The logic in this campaign actually just doesn't make sense. Like, it, it's going against the pre-existing material. Uh, it's man. terrible. What did you just say two minutes ago? Some people will believe the ULF was responsible. Exactly. Thanks to you, no one can prove it. Foreign Alex, what they get? Not enough to prove anything. Thanks to you, no one can prove it. Not enough to prove anything. No one can prove the ULF was responsible. You just said the evidence doesn't support I that. I know, it's very, mm. it's very Who else could have blown this BO4 campaign? Honestly, listen, the BO4 campaign, I feel like is actually better than this, despite it literally not even being a campaign. Play up. Could it be the known terrorist that recently escaped from prison a few days ago? The same person who was captured on surveillance footage boarding the plane that later exploded? That's Makarov. Hmm? Could it have been that guy? They also have audio recordings from- Yeah, they did such a bad job setting this mission up. It's really embarrassing, to be honest. Like, chat, think about it. A whole team of people came up with this story. A whole team of people. Ghost 2 died for this. Advanced Warfare 2 died for this. A whole group of people said this is going to be better. Yikes. From the cockpit and nice. footage from the cabin and yet nobody can use this evidence to show the world makarov is behind this yeah, like our heroes doesn't make sense. are all fucking idiots had him right in our i agree infinity war does need to move on from modern warfare it's over like they need to pack it up do something actually innovative and fun and new fucking hans <laughs> they need to take a big chance. risk man you should kill me right now. Flashback to four years ago. Makarov has bombed a stadium because we needed to reuse another area from Warzone. Eventually, we encounter an ambulance and there's a standoff. Turns out Makarov is inside. Oh, this mission is terrible too. That's what I mean. Every single mission I remember, I'm like, wow, this was terrible. And while he could have seen the two guys with guns right in front of him and just reversed the way he came, Makarov- Like, lads, watching this review and reading Charlie Intel's tweet where he's like, why is call of duty not nominated for the game of the year awards like you have to literally be so unbelievably jaded to see why this game was not in the game of the year awards this is garbage dog of recklessly decides to floor it crashing the ambulance and getting his stupid ass captured why are you heading back into the stadium you already blew it up so why aren't you trying to escape our antagonist is a fucking idiot and again normally this is where call of duty would have some over the top action packed chasing see true yeah like cold war bro i'm telling you chat cold war was the last good campaign we had one of chat you agree man quince that's so awesome you remember it for another decade this was just so crazy i remember this moment too this is probably my most remembered moment from cold war and this scene of the trailer was sick too. Oh, Jesus, no, shit. But instead we get yeah, something. It was a really good scene. Way more exciting. Fucking <laughs> move. Oh my god. Push you ever have push friends him. that you're hanging out with? Push him and over. he's like walking in front of you and then he just stops. Push him simulator. <laughs> Let's go. I don't believe in luck. I don't believe in luck, I believe in planning. You're right, Makarov. We only captured you because your plan to floor it was stupid. And because Soap and Price are fucking idiots too, they don't kill Makarov here and now be- Yeah, the fact that they held him and they caught him so many times throughout the game and then just never shot him was so bizarre to me. And then the whole logical reasoning behind it- Cause we have like him. He's in custody, he's not going anywhere. And then it's also not even concluded. This is gonna be in another Modern Warfare game. This freaking story, boo. Amazing. Boo. Give us You're something all dumber new. than you look. That's what I'm saying. This is what I hate most about this story. Nobody is outsmarting or outplaying each other. One side of this conflict only gains the upper hand when the other side does something even stupider. It's, yeah, it's so true. We cut back to real time and Shepard calls Laswell via Discord. The writers treat this scene like it's the first time we've seen Graves since his supposed death. Wrong again, boys. Unfucking believable. I, I know. <laughs> 
story sucks ass. The hero's surprise should mirror our own. But they already revealed Graves was alive in the most nonchalant way possible. Did somebody screw up and put this cutscene in the wrong place? Now, why is Shepard working with us to take down Makarov? I'm not going out like this. I want my... Yeah, his inclusion was... So, like, that's what I mean. All the character motivations were literally not explained and also were even contradictory to who the characters originally were. Name on it's a win. So well, it's a little late wow. for that, dog. Did you forget when you ordered Graves to kill all those civilians? Yeah. I guess the writers did. So we go to find Makarov's financier to give her an audit. This is your personal account, huh? Yes, Melina, it seems you owe some money in back taxes, and I thought we could go over your expenses for last year. Hey, remember when Price and Gaz took the gloves off to interrogate that fucking asshole and they almost shot his family in front of him? Bro, that was a really good scene. That was a good campaign mission, too. Work the gloves off. They're off. We get dirty, and the world stays clean. That's the mission. This is your personal account, huh? I'm going to be honest, why do the Modern Warfare 3 cutscenes look worse than the Modern Warfare 2 ones? Soap says... Well, like, why does Soap look so just bizarre in this cutscene? They're going to take know. Makarov's money, and she's like... You're not very good at this. You're stealing from Makarov's future, not mine. Okay, well, I'm going to steal all your money. Don't, don't you fucking do. Fuck you. <laughs> My money. I fought for it. Yeah, she was. Milena was literally practically only in this campaign mission. I I'm earned. I'm as good as dead without my money. I need my money. Sounds like Activision. So anyway, <laughs> is Makarov is transporting some dang true thing to a prison. Turns out it's Shepard. What? Huh? When did he get captured? How? Yeah, and then him being in the game was so bizarre. Just what the frick were they doing? Oh, where was Graves? Do we ever find out? No! God damn it, hold on. Weren't you just submerged in freezing water? Why aren't you shivering? How come you show no signs of hypothermia throughout? He just chilling. <laughs> this entire mission. Well, Price, it's because... <laughs> He just vibing, man. <laughs> Seventy dollars, please. One wrong move, and I'll, and I'll get a bundle to get you to buy. Pull a hole through you. I remember how all this started because you didn't kill Makarov when you had the. Ah, oh, screw it. Why do we have to fight our way to an evac route? If we planned this out enough to where we knew exactly where they would be, why didn't the helicopters just pick us up right here? So then Sledgehammer throws in a random AC-130 mission. Oh, dude, I enough with these missions. Treyarch, never add these again. Mission these for missions no reason. are so bad. Whoa. Like, you just have to stare at the map the whole freaking mission. You're in here for like 30 minutes, oh, bro. Okay, that, wow, you are not supposed to look up. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man, look Don't at look, that. look up. That is... Bruh. Is, oof. That is rough. Why, they, why didn't they? Why didn't they finish the background? Yeah, bro, and that background I feel like has even been in the game since like BL3. Can we not come up with new set pieces anymore? Are we so desperate for ideas we have to keep recycling this too? You yeah. can really tell they had to squirt this game out faster than my explosive diarrhea because I don't even think they had time to make a soundtrack. Anytime there's a moment where- I agree, bro. They they even allow you to buy the old Modern Warfare 2 soundtrack made by Hans Zimmer, which is so bizarre. And you have to buy it. You can't just switch between it, bro. You might feel something. So Crickets. Yeah, you know, it's like, like, where's the music? I agree. There's actually no good music you in know, this game. It, if it looks boring, I think it's just because there's, there's really nothing happening. Miller, pass the ox cord. Shout out to Treyarch. This is Ooh, baby. Trench gun. Coney's maneuvering near the comms tower. Still no music. Yeah, you're right. Coney's maneuvering to the comms tower. I love Modern Warfare 3, baby. It's bizarrely quiet. Still no music. Yeah, the music guy's really, really fucking slacking. He just took a day off. Bro, that's what I mean. You bring it back to an OG campaign like this. Oh. Treyarch sound team is different. I'm telling you. One of the best in gaming. 
This was such a sick mission. Look at this. With Skrillex as well, man. Trey are cooked back then, man. I've heard elevator music more intense than this soundtrack, dude. BO1 sound. This soundtrack is goaded. Oh my god, this is just. And then this is the final part of the game, the bomb step, bruh. That's freaking bomb. Bro, Nacha, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it right now. World War II's theme song, this song, is the best song Call of Duty has ever produced. This theme is gotta be one of the hardest things I've ever heard in my life. Listen to this. December 7th, 1941. A date which will live in infamy. God tier theme. That theme is the fire. The toughest. I know this is how the game ends. It's just such it's such a silent game. Sure, even MW2 had good music. What little music they bothered to compose is generic and forgettable. But if you listen carefully at the end of matches, you can hear the faintest whisper of the militia theme. <laughs> what happened to this guy down here, bro? <laughs> what the frick? Team Bro. Like, this is what I mean, bro. Just the sounds like the team death match. Dun 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 I bro. That like the first five seconds of a regular MW2 match beats everything that the new trilogy has ever tried. Like this this is just so goaded. Take no prisoners, comrades. It's as if Activision know, is choking man. out the last breath of creativity and identity this series once had. Oh, you want good music? Oh, buy the Hans Zimmer pack for $15. That's what I'm saying, man. And it's like, listen, back in BO4 Zombies, you could change between the Ether music and Alistair's music, like the Chaos music, the main menu, for free, I'm pretty sure. That, they did that for free, let alone $16, bro. That's freaking like a fifth of the price of the game. Because that's now a paid feature, dickhead. So Which is insane. That is insane. It is so dumb. That should never cost money. $15 as well is insanity. Makarov's helicopter with a Predator missile and it crashes in a blaze of hellfire. The team goes to confirm the kill, but then Shepard says, We need to search the site for PID on Makarov. Your orders are to stand down. We Why is she looking like she had a rave, bruh? Like, what the, like, I'm not here to, like, this is to criminate, but what the frick is the get up in these campaign missions, bro? Got nothing but fire and brimstone out there, and that's all the confirmation we need. You want to go out on a win, right? But you're telling me to not look around for his body. Our secondary antagonist is a fucking idiot. It's over, John. We nailed that bastard to hell and gone. Yeah, that's well, that's the thing. When there's no cohesion in the lore, why should anybody care, you know? Is there anybody that even cares about what's going to happen after this campaign chat? Tell him I get a little shadow crying. One person in the chat, yes! does anybody yes, care? Yes, exactly. I Makarov's going to reappear and be like, No, I wasn't in that helicopter price. <laughs> but instead of doing the most common sense thing and taking 20 minutes to search the area, our heroes are content to wait for Makarov to show himself by committing another war crime. And you know what? This story makes me want to commit a few war crimes of my own. Now we're in a courtroom <laughs> because the writers have to resolve conflict in the most boring settings possible. Despite having all the evidence that Makarov- Like, okay, wait, 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 go back a second. Makes me want to commit a few war crimes of my own. Now we're in a courtroom because the writers have to resolve conflict in the most boring settings possible. This guy literally looks like he's about to go to sleep, bro. I'm gonna take out my webcam. Look at this guy. This guy looks like he's about to fall asleep, bro. In the campaign! Despite what having the all frick? the evidence that Makarov and I mean, not the ULF on, is behind these terrorist attacks, they needed Shepard alive so he could testify about it. This scene serves no purpose. Neither Graves or Shepard face any- Bro is literally the resident sleeper 
emoji in the freaking game. It's went from the law? Yeah. Or emoji. They aren't even locked up in jail. Sometime insane. later, Laswell gets word that, surprise, Makarov's alive and might be sniffing around London. Are you ready to see the best thing in this campaign? Oh, Riley. Wow. A reference. Wait, really? I missed that? And that was, that's actually the best part of the, I missed the best part of this game. The COD Ghosts. The Bruh. best part of Modern Warfare 3's campaign. Is a ghost cameo. That's actually embarrassing, fam. Is the new dog model a fucking meme? That is a new, new dog, dog model right there. That's a fucking new, new dog, dog model, model, bro. If you new dog model thought the torture was over, though, Sledgehammer has one more card to play. The gang goes into an underground railroad because Makarov's gonna blow oh, up. A dude, this final mission is terrible. It, the final mission truly cements this as the worst Call of Duty campaign. I agree. It we is fight our way terrible. to where the bomb is and secure the area. Price and Soap work to defuse it. And then... Bro, and then, yeah, Soap's death, L. L in chat. This death was garbage. So unemotional, just nothing. Because he did much you said. Fuck you. This campaign fucking sucks. I think the reason I enjoyed it is because I was fully emotionally and mentally not invested into it. And I was just having a good time just knowing it was going to be terrible. But yeah. Why do you, you care, care about so the much, Jack, man? Terrible. Start talking about the multiplayer. Can't you see that matters more than some meaningless campaign? <laughs> meaningless, huh? What do you know of meaningless? Ah! Ah! Guess you could say they really did soap dirty in this one. But if you know you don't have time to write a proper send off for a fan favorite character, don't kill off the. I agree. I agree. Fan favorite character. I agree. Have I this agree. be a campaign where butt fuck happens. Nobody gets killed off, and we can just sweep it under the rug. COD 2019 was a breath of fresh air, a worthy remake of COD 4 on a flashy new engine. It reintroduced classic characters, but remade them and the plot, so it felt like a fresh take. The MW2 remake... May That's have what I'm wondering, like, how did it, how did Modern Warfare 2019 do the best? And then Modern Warfare 2 was bad, and then this game was literally the worst. Like, how did this happen? It had a weaker story, but it made up for that by emphasizing the characters, their development, relationships. It gave them depth. Modern Warfare 3 throws all of that in the garbage in a way Literally. that Ryan Johnson can only dream of. It makes you feel stupid for caring about any of this in the first place. 100%. The original MW3 has the most- It's literally like if you gave the campaign to a toddler to make the game. Uh, that's genuinely how I feel like the cohesion feels. There's nothing. There's actually nothing. Like, it feels randomly generated. It feels like AI created it. Satisfying ending in the series. The remake? has the exact opposite. Yeah. This is cheap, shock value bullshit. Yeah, Makarov true. literally comes out from behind a corner and shoots him, like it's straight out of a Monty Python sketch. <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Then there's the choreography. <laughs> so Soap and Price get shot. And then Makarov stands there and mocks. Yeah, we got chat GPT warfare, bro. Monologues about it for 10 seconds, allowing Soap time to get up and stab him. But there's like six guys with machine guns behind him? Why didn't they shoot so? I know, it's so weird. And like, who are they even shooting? Who? And then Soap just stands there with one hand completely free. And let's Makarov shoot him again. What? It, yeah, it's... What the fuck were Gaz and Ghost doing off screen? Stroking each other's cocks? Ghost even knows Makarov is here. <laughs> Makarov is in the channel. He's heading your way. The area is completely secured until Makarov shows up. So Gaz and Ghost just watched Soap die. I wouldn't want shitty friends like that at my funeral. And then Makarov gets Dang, so true though. Gets away. Again, not due to some clever plan, but because our heroes are worthless. Don't worry, folks. Once season three for Warzone comes out, they're gonna retcon this shitty ending. Soap's gonna reappear and be like, Well, that's what I'm wondering. Are they gonna continue the campaign with the seasonal content? This might be the first time I feel like they've ever actually done that. Actually, my brain wasn't in my skull. I don't think they're gonna end the game, bro, without us concluding what happens to Makarov. I just can, I do not want a Modern Warfare 4. God, no, no Modern Warfare 4, please. Just end the freaking game.
people. And he the must game have transferred his consciousness content. throughout his entire nervous system. He was the best of us. The toughest. He'd have fought the world barehanded. Don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes. And why is Price perfectly fine? Didn't you just get shot, you asshole? I think I've made my yeah, point, but true. let's compare this scene to the original. It's a very emotional sequence. Bro, the, I'm not, this is gonna be embarrassing. Makarov lays a trap that catches Yuri and Soap by surprise. Sure Soap is the only one who heard Makarov refer to Yuri as my and This friend. was so epic! The way they just jump out the window last second. And up Bruh. until this point, the player doesn't know much about Yuri and assumes he's not that important. Then you have to escort Soap to safety in a sequence that the longer it goes, the less chance he has of surviving. It feels like a real bad chat. Okay, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the proposition here. If I made a Call of Duty campaign, would it be better than what we're getting Modern Warfare? Chat, I could write y'all a sick story, bro. Oh my gosh. I could write a campaign that gets, gets y'all freaking loose. Your heartstrings cut loose on the characters, man. Oh my gosh. Activision... Fire your writers, bro. I'll, I'll take them on. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But seriously, I mean, it just doesn't even feel like there's a writer writing this. That's why I'm saying it feels like chat GPT. Battlefield really does. with tangible stakes. The main character's life. Hang chat, I could write a sick zombies campaign. Oh my gosh. We could make it goaded, bro. It's in the balance. When Soap finally is out of harm's way, uh, our relief is short-lived. so good. Like, isn't it also weird how high quality this game still looks? Like, doesn't this look more detailed than what we have in current Modern Warfare? It's so bizarre. Like, how do the older games somehow still look better than what we get in 2023? Oh, I don't know. It's so but weird. his last words ignite a mystery. I This revelation changes everything in a twist similar to Bi The OG Shepard voice actor, 10 out of 10. Bioshocks, where we learn the character we've been playing as isn't a mere bystander. He's been instrumental in all the events leading to this point. So trusted you. I thought I could too. So why in bloody hell does Makarov know you? Yuri's flashbacks tie all the loose plot threads together. Soap's dead. I know. The, the voice acting in the OG series, literally 10 out of 10. Like, bro, even just in the snippets that we're hearing, bro, you can hear it so... Like, the delivery is just there. You don't feel that delivery, bro, in the current games, man. That feels more important than us witnessing the destruction of the Eiffel Tower. It's symbolic it's true, and a man. fitting end to the protagonist of the trilogy because we, as Price, get to avenge his death before the game ends there's so many true, things true because now we just don't even care about it for the next game and that's why i think honestly if i was activision just shill it in the freaking seasonal content and let us forget it, that it even happened at this point it's happening that's around the best route they can take. death what's happening here well i'll tell you absolutely fucking nothing yeah. you know what maybe treyarch was onto something with black ops 4 maybe they knew <laughs> better to make no campaign than to torture your fans with a shitty Nah, that's cap. That's cap. That's cap. That's cap. One as a final kick in the balls. There's a mid credit scene where Price shows up inside Shepard's office. This cutscene was so stupid. What was the point of this cutscene? This. We don't even get to kill Shepard ourselves. No, I am not gonna beg for my. Like, it's just the lamest excuse for Shepard's death. My life wouldn't do you any good. This is so mid. I know, I'm- Am I supposed to feel something? That's what I mean, me and Actman are the exact Am same. Am I supposed to feel anything? Like, but you know why you this is worse there? than Vanguard? That game was goofy. Like they got red dot sights in a World War II game. It's a joke, but it's a joke we can all point and laugh at. It didn't matter if the characters sucked because they didn't have any emotional equity, history, or connection. Vanguard to me just doesn't exist. So I just forget that this game was even here. But like Modern Warfare 3, when you're adapting from the original source material and you're making it like bad, 
It's way more disrespectful. With this franchise or its fans. Modern Warfare 3, on the other hand, is meant to cap off the third remake of a beloved trilogy. That's what but I mean. But they fucked it up yeah, so bad, it's exactly irredeemable. I mean. Yeah. That's why this is the worst COD campaign. I agree. Modern Warfare I agree. 3. I agree. And that's such a great explanation in terms of BL3 and BL4's campaigns. I this agree. campaign utterly fails at everything it tries to do. Yep. Halo 5 was better than this. Bruh. Bruh, nah, that's disrespectful. That's well, let's criminal. clear our mind with a little zombies, right? Hey, okay, we're in the zombies. Okay, I'm curious what Actman says about zombies. Because zombies does not get a huge portion of this video. Like, about seven minutes total. So I'm curious. We're on the ground. Zombies. God damn it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he can't drive on the... Yeah, the boats in the map are terrible. Oh, oh, oh my God. Got it. Wow. Wow. There are those who said this day would never come. What the fuck is happening? What the... Wait. What in fucks... Oh, yeah. That's uh, Modern Warfare 3 zombie servers. What the mm. fuck is... <laughs> oh, my God. Is it... What the fuck am I... Level up a weapon! How do you, how do you level up a weapon, bro? Huh? I what? have this too in the game. You'll just randomly level up weapons for driving a boat. Like, okay, what? all right, all right, that's cool. What the fuck was that? The the second something actually cool happens, it is just immediately cut short with fucking teleportation. Yeah. I'll admit my takes on zombies over the years have been volcanic. And when it comes to war zones, chat. Let me know if I watch the older zombie um outtakes he has, because I know I've had a conversation with Actman. He was telling me that he's definitely matured and changed his opinions over the years. But I'd love to see what he says. You know? Zombies, I... <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good this year. I'm gonna be honest, lads. One in the chat, have you ever experienced this on MW3? I never had any game-breaking massive bugs with the game, which is crazy because I have over six days on the game. I didn't have any... I've only crashed once in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, which is... I think the phrase... I I'm not even capping. It's literally the truth. Warzone zombies says yeah. it all. It sounds like a free literally. Halloween event. And if it was... It literally does, yeah. Just that, this wouldn't be half bad. But no, this is the new zombies mode. Part of that complete package. Modern Warfare 3 this year is the complete package. What the f uh, it's such a terrible thing to say, especially when they remove round base. Like, that is so... It's almost disrespectful. Fuck is he happening? What the <laughs> disciples? Fucking like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> What the what fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, the disciples are so busted in this game. And that's the truth, chat. This game mode should be free. Apparently, they are putting this up for a free week. But the thing is, man, is like, it needs to be longer than a week. I'm not going to lie. Like, this game should just be free. Z zombies on Modern Warfare 3 should be free. I am a candidate of that. It should be the first free zombies mode ever. <laughs> the DMZ was free. It's literally the same thing. It should stay free. The zombies yeah. I remember. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Just stay right there. <laughs> right there. Some shout out to Hidden Xperia. Yeah. Fucking. It's cool because Hidden Xperia has also played since World at War and he probably thinks this is an absolute disgrace. Floating priest having a seizure in a wall. I am having <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> wow. 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 Holy shit. They recycled the objectives and formula from DMZ and MW2. Yeah. They it's so weird. I don't even remember playing DMZ. Copied the Urzikstan map from Warzone and then smushed it together with zombie types we saw in Vanguard, yeah. BO3, and Cold War. Yeah. What the fuck? What is happening over here? What's Yo, look at- fire? turn around. Is it not bugged out for you? There's like a whole- <laughs> Oh, bro, yeah. It was so funny because there's just a random freaking floating container in the map. I remember this. <laughs> <Playing boxer. laughs> yes. What yes, the? it's fucked up. Your main goal is to complete arbitrary contracts and objectives for loot, to then leave the match and jump back into a new one. Not entirely sure where I'm supposed to have fun during this. Literally, it's so true. The whole point of the game is to grind contracts to unlock all the new schematics. But then that's the problem. Once you unlock all the schematics, there's nothing left to play. There's no gameplay loop. There's no like satisfying aspect. And so going for those schematics can be fun. But once you grab them, the game actively awards you for play for not playing the game, which is bizarre. Why would that ever be a thing? But Process. it is with this game. When you talk about our zombies, 
You're talking about really tense moments. So we want to- I do love Kevin Drew though, and I respect what he's doing. And I want, I, I really hope that Kevin Drew can carry God zombies from here on out, but- Maintain that. It scares me. <laughs> no, no. They're, Ke they're doing Kevin Drew so bad here. No. Now this is riveting gameplay. Now get this, in Warzone <laughs> Zombies, one of the biggest no. innovations is that you play with three no, people instead man. of four. Also, random players now up appear in your zombies lobby <laughs> what it's it's so weird you can join with three more people can join you in game you can have a party of six but you can't load in with six people like why you want to explain yourself and for the first time in history the developers are gatekeeping the amount of fun you can have yeah, with a literally. time limit oh shit oh shit time limit needs to be removed i still hate it. it is so bad the time limit is literally artificial gameplay it makes it artificially much more longer for you to actually play. And then every game is an hour long. Oh my gosh. And then the stash size is too little. Like this game needs so much more improvement. It's insane. I was expecting so much from season one and they just did not deliver at all with what I thought they were going to actually try and accomplish. We have a time limit. We have to, we, uh, we have a limited amount oh. of time. Run, 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 go, 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 stim, 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 sprint, 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 now, now, run, run, fast, fast, fast. I'll, I'll finish time, remember. <laughs> Only a certain amount of allotted finish allowed. The no, it's true. It, it went from being a game where you had unlimited time to time is now the number one thing you have to prioritize, not actually the progression of your character, which is stupid. Game plan objectives aren't the problem. It's pretty satisfying shooting zombies. The issue is at least one third of my time is spent running around doing yeah. nothing. Oh, again, that does change when you learn the fast travel side Easter egg. But the problem is, is like that only benefits that amount of people that even want to grind this game mode. It's just designed poorly. The contract is dug out and it's stuck in the table and I can't pick it up. Nice. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you like a... you just straight Oops. up can't pick it up. Guess we're not doing that one. No, this wasted, just, uh, our, this wasted our time. We can't have. <laughs> <laughs> now. We only have 32 minutes of fun left. Fuck, 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 fuck. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Run, run. Oh shit, we got a lot of points. No, it's so true because every game in zombies now, it's so true. It feels like a speed run because you only have a certain amount of time, and then it's like. You have to exhale as well. You don't even spend the full 45 minutes doing what you want to do. The last five minutes, you have to freaking get out of the dang game. Gonna get packed. So annoying. But do remember, we only have 17 minutes of a lot of fun left, so you gotta be quick. I know, yeah. I know. Instead of rounds that get progressively more challenging, we have three tiers. The goal is yeah. to exfil with gear good enough to trivialize the tier. I don't mind the tiered gameplay. I also just think that, like, it's just not well designed. Like, right now, there's so many people just in tier three, and when you have a whole lobby in the tier three area, you can't do anything. And, like, the game was just not designed with that in mind. It's designed to keep you infinitely grinding. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to grind for things that are meaningless, you know? Here, one so area stupid. of the map, so you don't have to waste your time there. And can have fun fighting zombies that yeah. actually pose a threat. Oh, an instant kill. We can enjoy that for our last few minutes of fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's the kills already on. All these zombies die in one hit. Yeah. I thought X filling in Cold War was cool because the strength of the zombies was based on the round, so it could get. I agree. I think X fills in Cold War are still the best aspect. I don't want them to bring DMZ X fills. I don't like having to go to one specific place or random places around the map to X fill. I don't know. I don't like Quite that. intense, and you could X fill more or less whenever you wanted. But now you have to run back to the tier one area, and then I like how it forces us. It forces us to come over here to leave, and then it makes us wait. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. It takes like a whole five minutes just to leave the game, right? And which is dumb because it, it, it's so bad. There's a lot of loading time in this game mode, which is <laughs> we got used to all of our a lot of fun though. Okay, now we just sit here and we uh, we tab out until the Xbox bonus. Yeah, our fun is at an end. It is. Oh, we stop. Yeah, and I feel like ever since they patched the Xfil glitch, a lot less zombies started spawning in, and it just makes the game feel so slow. Black Ops 1 set the gold standard for zombies content at 100%. launch, but these days they only launch zombies with one map, which means you get one yeah. chance to enjoy the mode. You either hate this map or you like it. If yeah. there was a round-based map or mode to satisfy players like me... And there won't be for MW3, and uh, which is why I am so excited for next year, though. There's going to be two round-based maps, so if you don't like one of them, hop on the other, like... 
That was the greatest part about BL3, in my opinion. I might be singing a different Easter egg song. It's true. But has yeah. Warzone become so invasive and overbearing to this franchise that even zombies must yield to it? It can't. Yes. Yes. This year was the year that proved that Warzone took over a campaign. Zombies has been taken over by Warzone a long time ago. Can I be honest? It really happened in Cold War. Like, even though the game is good, Cold War was the first game to start introducing Warzone mechanics, and then this just took it to Warzone zombies, right? Like, it's... They're inseparable. They're they're parasites to each other, in a way. It can't just be its own thing anymore? Why is it so hard to go back to the formula everyone agrees is the best? Exactly. I get why some folks are defending Warzone zombies. I do. Because we're coming off of Vanguard. These are dark times. Which is also wild because Vanguard Zombies is just Outbreak, which is literally Warzone Zombies from Cold War, except done worse. And instead, after all that backlash, they didn't bring back Round Base. They brought back another Warzone Zombies mode. Like, that is freaking insane to me. And people insane. are desperate for a W. No! Yeah. You're just trying to confuse me! And I mean, that's why I have so much time into the game itself. I want it to be good. I think it can be good. I just think that, like, right now, when it's up against round base and what the current gaming sphere is doing, like with Fortnite and stuff, there's no chance. You won't listen to the ravens of a lunatic! Did anyone else notice that Vanguard and MW3 both had to copy their zombies maps from someone else's homework? Yeah. But as one trained in the force? You know that true coincidences are rare. Here's the thing. Zombies has always reused parts of the campaign and multiplayer in its map design, but it did so in such a subtle way that you really had to pay attention to notice. That's even what like I'm saying. No, that's literally what I'm saying. Is that like, I hate when I hear people say, oh, World at War remaster maps. Yeah, they did, but they did it better than what we have today, bro. It's like, at least like World at War. I mean, Nax was Airfield, yeah. all that bit from the campaign. Varuk was Asylum. Shinonuma was Knee Deep. They were just like multiplayer yeah. maps that were like converted. But the thing is, they did it so well and like so yeah. tastefully and yeah, I didn't so even like know in a that. curated manner. Yeah, see, there you go. Did, did I mention there's also guys with guns on the map? Yeah. What the fuck? Mercs are terrible. Anything that shoots back at you in zombies is garbage. I will stand by that quote until I die. Vanguard proved that to me. Modern Warfare the three zombies proves that to me. Who the fuck's shooting me? Exo zombies prove that to me. Stop adding things that shoot back at you. What the Please. fuck is that? That is just Oh, there's guys here it with goes guns. goes against what zombies what the is. Fuck? <laughs> what? Okay. All right. Yeah. Not even zombies, just regular soldiers. Yeah. They're using sentry turrets and counter UAVs? Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. actually have a fucking counter UAV. <laughs> They're throwing grenades at me in a zombies mode. This is weird. I know. Oh. Like, it literally, this mode really feels like campaign war zone and zombies all mixed together. Oh, yeah. That's there's also fucking guys with like. guns in, in zombies. Yeah. Oh, I cannot stand that, dude. <laughs> Keep that shit as far away from zombies as possible. That should not ever be in zombies. I agree. It, it goes against the, the, the foundational aspects of the mode. It literally does. Dude, I- what the fuck? To the hardcore yeah. zombies fans. I'm sorry. F's in chat. F's in chat. Run based, please! Come back! Come back! You know that- you know that freaking gif of the guy where he's like, Save me, Donald Trump. Save me. <laughs> that, that's us with round base. Save us, round base. Please, save us. Some of you might pretend this is what you want. But deep down, I suspect you resent it as much as I do. And you understand that, yeah. like campaign... Zombie like I said, the game mode is fun, but it's not. It's no round-based. This is special. And you can't just copy and paste it onto a fucking war zone map and call it a day. Yeah. You crave a handmade, curated, round-based zombies mode. Yeah. Same as me. I was right. Which we have not had in almost... Five years by the time the, the one in 2024 comes out. Like, bro, I have never heard of a popular gaming franchise taking a five-year hiatus. We have been in a literal five-year hiatus. It is insane that nobody has taken the IP of zombies and tried to do it themselves because Call of Duty cannot do it at this point. I am the Why? same as you. Some fans claim Wild. MW3 has the best multiplayer in years. What do I think? One in chat of true, two in chat of false. I'm a 
tour. I think this should have been what it was intended to be. An expansion to the game we already had. Exactly. exactly. Warfare 3 does little to... That's the best way to sum it up. Innovate the formula beyond locking improved movement mechanics behind a $70 price tag. Much like how you had to buy Infinite Warfare to play the game you actually wanted, they yeah. tempt you with everything you've been asking for. But look, Actman, every classic Modern Warfare 2 map is here. That's your favorite Call of Duty, isn't it? Yeah. So this is a mo yes, but not with the new mechanics. Modern Warfare Three remake that doesn't remake any maps from Modern Warfare Three. <laughs> I know, and then Modern Warfare Four will remake all the maps from Modern Warfare Three. This game is so dumb. Yes, and you don't see any issues with that. I can go fast now. You were hoping to throw <laughs> down on Dome, Mission, Arcade, Resistance, Bootleg, no. Hard Hat. Like it's just so confusing to say Modern Warfare 3 is the map with all is the game with all the Modern Warfare 2 maps. And then Modern Warfare 4 will be all the will have all the maps from Modern Warfare 3? Huh? Well, what? your expectations are too high. I will give Sledgehammer some props. These are very faithful remakes, right down to the nitty-gritty details. The maps are and always have been amazing. With a couple exceptions. They even included D-Rail, so you can feel nostalgic when you vote to skip it. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Movement is now the main appeal and core personality of this game. Fans have been asking- yeah, I will be honest, y'all. Why are we playing D-Rail in 2023? ...for this, and it does dramatically change how these classic maps are played. The movement opens up new paths of traversal, new flanking routes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Climbing, mantling, and jumping are way faster and smoother than ever before. I enjoy the longer time to kill, as players have the tools and a much better chance to turn the tables in a firefight if someone gets the jump on them. All this- <laughs> Bro just killed someone named your Asian GF, bruh. Movement tech creates new ways to outplay your opponent. And with solid gunplay, this should be Call of Duty at its best. Here's the problem. You can't throw the super fast movement onto the old level design and expect it to work as intended. Unless your intention is to break the old level design. We saw this in Halo 5. They had to stretch out classic maps to accommodate sprint. And like with Vanguard, the hyper-fast pace of the game removes a lot of tactical decisions you'd normally have to make, often turning matches into a chaotic clusterfuck. Areas that were once designed as crucial choke points, eh, you can just slide through them now without a care in the world. That is very true. It completely changes the way the game plays. That is true. Maps like High Rise, it is cool to mantle over walls you couldn't before, right. but this breaks the carefully constructed lane. That's so true. What a great example because everybody loves Treyarch maps, right? Multiplayer maps. And it's because they stick within that three lane system. And I think what makes it so good is that you can't invade from one lane to the other. But yeah, it's true. With all the new mechanics and mounting and fast climbing and all that, you can play in such a game-breaking way that is just kind of not fun, I feel like. It's MW3 is also incredibly sweaty. When I play with friends, though, that's when I run into people who, you know, drop shot me when I'm not even playing. There's so many times, though, where an enemy and I sprint past each other. I just, yeah, I don't like the gunfights in current COD where you, like, run past and then just like, Duh, who's gonna, who's gonna die first? You know? By the time we both realized we just exactly. saw an enemy, we're already 15 feet apart. It's so true. Yeah, that's, that's, I guess what fast movement can do in a game. That's, that's a great point. Now, there are some very important improvements to the game that I personally appreciate. Not every attachment reduces ADS time. Underbarrel grenade launchers and shotguns don't reduce- I'm gonna be honest, chat. Do you guys like pick 10 system or this new uh, weaponsmith system? I can't stand this weaponsmith. I hate when I'm like, okay, I want to put a muzzle on my gun. And there's like 900 attachments. I want to put a grip on my gun. And there's like- 55 attachments from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. I'm like, just give me the grip that works, you know? Give me the grip that freaking works. Reduce it either. By some stroke of wizardry, noob tubes have been properly balanced for the first time ever. Also, while editing this, I, I noticed that, that this guy fired a noob tube at me at almost the exact same time. And the fact that I can even see how close oh, it was. What the frick? I didn't even see that. Was to killing me oh my is actually. <laughs> That's hilarious.
Be pretty cool. Whoa. They are fucking awesome. <laughs> and I think I'm the only person that uses them. Also, I'm a. F There's no one man army, though. So, I mean, like, it's not actually OGMW2. Fucking God with frag grenades. Throwing grenades! One of the new snipers feels like that was what MW two was great at though. I think the you're so good with the grenades because the maps were actually designed for grenade usage. Overpowered no. intervention. It is so satisfying. Wait, is this the cat AMR? Oh my gosh, it is. It's so funny, chat, because you know why? This is the worst weapon in Modern Warfare Three Zombies. The cat AMR is by far the actual just worst sniper in all of COD Zombie. It's terrible. It's like that one sniper or from am I just Cold War. High. Oh, look at that collateral. Apparently Sledgehammer wanted to reintroduce the pick 10 system. And you can see remnants of that with this new- They should have, they should have gone all the way because this weaponsmith system is garbage. I do not like it. Vest option. Too many, many options. many of the perks and field upgrades are a bit too niche. I feel like the kill streaks in, in MW3 are terrible. I feel like I never die to them. But hey, man, know. I'll take changes to this. Class customization, pretty good. Unfortunately, this is like the sixth year in a row they've launched a new con with the same game modes. No, I don't want to play anything but hardpoint and domination. On a positive note, it looks like they're adding demolition back in for the first time since Black Ops 3. Well, the the, are you serious? Demolition hasn't been in COD since BO3? That's embarrassing, to be honest. Customization is nice. The, the progression no licks way. Bigfoot balls. So wow. instead of unlocking all the perks... Yeah, this new daily challenge system to unlock stuff is terrible. Horrid idea. Get attachments and weapons by, you know, leveling up. Nah, you've got to... It literally took me six days of game time to unlock everything in the game. Six days. Heck no. Complete daily Hell. challenges. No. Oh, you mean this exact system that Halo Infinite has spent the last two years correcting? Because Daily challenges are just terrible. I don't like having to go into a game and focus on a dumb challenge. Because everyone hated it? Yes, I love having arbitrary challenges gatekeep my progression and dictate how I play video games. Hey, asshole teammates, come resupply from my fucking ammo box. I'm trying to unlock the Harriers. What fun fuck asshole thought this was a great idea for progression. So you want to It's so true because you literally have you can play a whole day and only unlock like one thing. Why? Why are we freaking detrimenting players for playing a game in 2023? What is going Get on? this fucking gear package? Do you want to stick a shock stick up your ass? You gotta do daily challenges. You can only do like three a day. They, they literally designed it so you just fucking have to come back. Who locks me? And then literally some of them, you have to do like 90 daily challenges. To get. It's insane. It is, this is, is insane. worse than fucking mobile games, dude. Make it make fucking sense. To me, the armory unlocks are just another example of Activision prioritizing player retention. Uh, act man, but this time you get a choice of what you unlocked. Yeah. You know what game did that better? Ghosts. If I ever compare- That's just- so sad. A new Call of Duty to Ghosts, and Ghosts comes out on top in some way, you know, you, you done, done fucked it up. up. In BO1 and you, you made a grave error. And Ghosts, you earn <laughs> currency just by playing and could pick what you unlock. That's it. Don't make me do stupid fucking challenges, okay? Just let me play the game. You want to talk kill streaks? Those are pretty much all the same. There's like three new ones. Would have been a perfect time to bring back support streaks, but... Bro! Oh my gosh. See, this is what I'm saying. OG MW3 is just so much better. Come on. This isn't a remake of MW3. Check out how cool this Juggernaut Recon streak is. <laughs> it isn't cool at all. It just took... No! Where was the minigun, bro? And he got instantly deleted by the freaking precision airstrike, bro. What? Took away my weapons and gave me nothing. Now how about ground war? Well, it's the exact same as last year. Although now there's a 50% ground war from last year was actually a nightmare. Chance the mode will run at 15 frames per second. <laughs> bro, not even MW3 has been this bad for me. This is bad. <laughs> nice, I got the glitch.
So what does the glitch do? Oh my god, what doesn't it do? <laughs> that's, that's what you want to hear. <laughs> oh, oh, it lags no. to fucking shit. Oh my god, dude, it is like... <laughs> oh, it literally looks like I'm watching a slideshow. It is... <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. That is so horrid. The, the FPS is like 15 right now. It's like 15. Oh, nice. And it is stuttering. 2023 game, by the way. More than a child with a speech impediment. But rejoice, COD World War II fans, for the war mode returns. Is it better than before? No! You'll love the return of the same restrictive kill barriers that funnel everyone down one of three incredibly short lanes with no room for ingenuity or creative traversal. <laughs> the way he got killed there. <laughs> no misses for you today, lad. Oh, get fucked. Come on, I can't even... Oh my god. I have to come up this way. I can't. E I, I, you, I can't even flank them. The war mode only has anybody even played the war mode. I don't think I've even tried it out yet. It has one map. Yep, they copied one the map? Mode COD World War Two where you escort a tank. The objective That's it? is to stop a missile launch. One map. Stop the missiles before you do. We're gonna stop the missiles. Okay, stop the missiles. And the map is made up of stolen assets from Condor, Hideout, Crossfire, and Countdown. Oh, this is a COD 4 map? Bro. No, no. If they're reusing shit from COD 4 too, man, this is... It is? Oh! Dude, that's what I mean. Is there anything even original at this point? When you have so much stuff brought back from older games, like, it's even hard to tell what is original at that point as well. Oh my god! Yeah, that's a They don't have a single fucking idea! You're right! You're right, it is! They had to steal maps from 16 years ago to hit that deadline. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I had kind of like a, uh... A subconscious feeling that I had seen this before. I it's, it gets me really scared because this is what COD 2024 is releasing on. We are releasing on quite possibly the worst campaign ever with a multiplayer that has been rehashed and a zombies that has been rehashed so many times. It gets me mortified for this next game because I know people are expecting better. But then I agree with you Mutt, in the chat. People also wanted this though. And that's what makes me very confused because I think we're actually going to get a really good game next year. And I'm scared people are not going to like it because it's not this. Right? And so... Oh, it gets me... Gets and you're me absolutely now. right. Dude, that is just... This is sad. You know, at least the war mode used to let you play out certain fantasies like Storm in the Beach on D-Day. All three launch maps were completely original, handmade. He even had an announcer that sounded like he gave a shit. Keep the enemy from building the bridge. The enemy is building a bridge. The, the bridge is being built. Like, you know it's bad when we're finding good things from bad games that are better than the current modern games, like World War II, like Ghost, like Advanced Warfare. Like, that's bad. The bridge is half bad. built. The enemy is building a bridge. Stop the enemy from building that bridge. They're building a bridge. Enemy soldiers are approaching. Lock the space down and eliminate the threats to protect our mission. I'm gonna be honest, Shot. I don't even like the way you load into multiplayer missions like this anymore. Like where you, where you're literally just loading in. This just takes too long to even get into a game. I feel like soldiers are approaching. It just gets annoying. Lock the space down and eliminate the threats to protect our mission. Protect our anti-air weapons. Do not let them air drop armored vehicles. Wait a minute. This version is awful. Yeah, they ruined it. I agree. The the voice acting in current COD is actually garbage. I don't know why they would fire the good voice actors and hire people that are just. Oh my god, it's terrible! Although I was initially excited to hear factions would be returning, the announcers in the game are so lifeless and apathetic that I actually prefer the British guy from Vanguard. Team Death- Like, that's terrible. Match. Subdue all threats! Use all your senses. Sight, sound, touch, smell, and gun. <laughs> and gun. What the frick is Call of Duty Vanguard, bro? This game is so bad. This game is so bad. Thank you, Joe, for the tier. Bro, that is embarrassing. Oh my god, that was... I don't even know why factions are here when we still have the operator system and I can play his fucking... Like, that just sounds like a joke, bro. Skeletor. Wait, wait, did I you know. see? If you go to the... Op Chat, operators... 
out of 10, give me a score. I'm giving a zero because we have Nicki Minaj and 21 Savage and Snoop Dogg before Edward freaking Richtofen, fam. Edward Richtofen. Reznov's not even in this game, bro. Literally, like, what the frick? I'm so nervous for COD 2024 with the operators. But I, I don't know. Operators, and you go to Skeletor. It's Skeletor TM. Oh yeah, yeah. it's literally. <laughs> That's so sad. Skeletor <laughs> it's literally TM. Skeletor. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh my god. god, That's amazing. Holy shit! If you god. click on it, that's actually so stupid. They have to even trademark in their own game. That's the ah, bro. This is just. This is not even a Call of Duty problem. I'm gonna lie. I'm. Or I'm not gonna lie. This is a copyright problem. Copyright is just so dumb on games in 2023 nowadays. And it, you can play as Horde Skeletor TM or, <laughs> or, or Disco Skeletor TM. Disco Skeletor TM. I gotta wrap this up. Call of Duty yeah, Modern Warfare that's... 3 is a testament to how low standards have gotten. Activision Blizzard can- What would we rate the whole game though out of 10? Modern Warfare 3 out of 10. I'm gonna be honest. I'm giving it, I think, a 2. And I think the 2 is just for zombies. And that's about it. Two or three. Continues their ramp. I, I came in with the expectation of a five out of 10 and I still got disappointed. Page of scummy business practices, attempting to pull a fast one on their dedicated fan base by branding this expansion as a brand new premium title. Given the rush development, the majority of content had to be stolen, copied, or recycled from other games. Yeah. The series is creatively bankrupt, and this deserves to be the worst reviewed Call of Duty. The campaign- Yes, and Christopher Judge's comment is absolutely valid, and anybody who's upset about that, to me, just is putting their anger at the wrong person. The anger really should be going towards Activision. And again, Microsoft's big game is next year, and if Microsoft fumbles this game, y'all, it is over. It is done. Just give it up at that point, bro. It's worse than bad. It's yeah. an insult. It not it only is. destroys the characters we grew to love, but destroys any interest I had in where this new timeline was going. Zombies to me feels like a cheap attempt at attracting the Warzone audience to zombies. Exactly. It's grabbing the DMZ players from last year. It's true. Zombies, not through the strength of the zombies mode, but by making zombies more like Warzone. No exactly. It, it, like that's the only gameplay there's no gameplay loop in modern warfare 3 zombies there is no gameplay loop it's not like regular round base the gameplay loop is getting your schematics and then once you do that once you never have to play ever again the multiplayer will likely be fun for a time and if any part of the game yeah. is going to get love it's this i this I, I agree i do agree I, chat i'm gonna be honest i think the zombies mode is going to age like milk because it's an online only mode and what ends up happening with online only call of duty modes is they eventually die because the servers end up getting filled with hackers that can just boot you off the game and so modern warfare 3 zombies i'm telling you as soon as cod 2024 comes out this Modern Warfare 3 Zombies mode is going to be forgotten. It's going to be plagued to absolute hell with hackers. It's going to be terrible. Game it's certainly feels like it was thrown together in 16 months. Yeah. And that is why Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Great is video so act, man. Bad.